So now we have an exponential example. We have uh, e is raised to the 3x, and that's multiplied by 6. And we're finding the definite integral from 0 to the natural log of 2. Now, uh, this one doesn't have a defined inside function where you could say for sure, you know, this is being um, raised to a power or something like that. But um, when exponentials are involved, usually it's going to be the exponent on, on e or, you know, maybe some other base. But um, usually it's going to be the exponent that ends up being the, the u. And so we're going to let u be equal to 3x. Immediately after you figure out what u is, you take the derivative. So du is 3 dx. Now we have to substitute for dx. And so we divide by 3. And we get that 1 third du is equal to dx. So now we substitute. We say, okay, the, uh, the 6e to the 3x is going to become 6e to the u. The dx is going to become 1 third of du. And we integrate. The 6 and the 1 third can multiply to give you 2, and we can pull that 2 outside. So we end up with 2 times the integral of e to the u. What function has e to the u as its derivative? It's just itself, e to the u. So now we need to sub back in. We need to, all our x, all our u's get, have a, uh, need to be replaced by uh, x, uh, the 3x. So, so now we have 2. Keep the 2 outside and focus on the e to the 3x. And we're about to perform the fundamental theorem of calculus while we plug in the upper limit, we plug in the lower limit, and we subtract. And so we say uh, x gets replaced by log 2, and then x gets replaced by 0. Now it's tempting to do this. I, I want you to avoid it. It's tempting to cancel in this manner, which it doesn't work out. You can't just say e and log cancel like this and end up with 3 times 2. That doesn't work out that way. In fact, what you have to do is take the, the, the 3 and make it the exponent on 2. And then you can do your cancellation. So the 3 log 2 becomes the log of 2 cubed. And then we can cancel. 2 cubed is 8. And so that's just another way to say 8. e to the 0 is just 1. So we have 8 minus 1. And then don't forget about the 2 that's on the outside. So the final answer, 8 minus 1 is 7, 7 times 2. Final answer is 14. Okay.